What up? Back at it again with the fucking camo glasses and the fucking awesome shirts. Cause you know how I am. Uh, you know how I roll. Um, I have another qualm to pick with these these damn people in the gym who give garbage ass advice, man. Garbage advice. This is dude. This is professional trainer at the gym I go to who said when you start a leg workout you need to start with leg press and for those of you who do not know a leg press is a machine there's one red flag where you basically load a bunch of fucking weight onto a sled and then you lower the sled towards you it's you're at a de you're at a decline so your feet are in the air and you're pushing against this gigantic ass sled with your legs. Okay, so first off, 99 times out of 100, when you start off a workout and you're going super fucking heavy and you're not just warming up, you want to start with something that's called a... Hold on, what that? But you want to start off with something, a lift, that is a compound movement. Which means you target more than one muscle group at a time. So if you want to start off a leg workout, a really good way to do that is through squats or deadlift. Whether or not you consider deadlift a back or leg workout, it's kind of both. I consider deadlift more of legs. But um, you want to start off with a compound movement, not just you know, a machine. Like, you definitely don't want to start off your workout on a machine unless you are warming up, which means you do not load up this shit with basically all the weight in the fucking gym, okay? D don't do it. <laughs> Compound movements. Like, when I did chest today, I started off with barbell bench press because that is a compound movement. It works triceps, it works chest, and it works your shoulders. So when you use squats, it works your core, it works your lower back, it works your quads and your hamstrings, and your gluteus maximus. It works all of those at the same time. It saves you time, and it saves you, ultimately, energy. Because now you're not wasting time and wasting movements on workouts that you can do at the end when your legs are already fatigued and you can hammer them out on a machine. That's what the machines are there for. They're there for you to ultimately exhaust all of your muscles. Which is why at the end of my workout today, I went to the pec I went to the fly machine. And I just loaded that shit up which is with as much weight as I could handle. And I just hammered it out until I couldn't feel my arms anymore. <laughs> Which is, I think, is what you're supposed to do. But I also have another qualm. The other day I went in there, and there's this old dude giving out some bullshit advice again, but he jumps on the leg, he jumps on the leg press. I was like, all right, well, you've been here for a minute. You were here before I did, so I don't know what you did. The dude gets, a, gets on the leg press machine, takes basically every single plate in the entire gym, and loads it on this bitch. I'm thinking, the fuck is this guy trying to do? Destroy his knees? Like, what the fuck are you doing? And then <laughs> he unracks it. The weight probably moves a maximum of three inches before he does, like, four reps and then re-racks it. Like, what are you doing? If you've had a knee injury in the past, you're going to want to include as much movement as possible. You're going to want to damage your muscles around your bad joints as possible. So then, you're, so then those mu when those muscles heal, they help strengthen your joints. Like, when, when you load up that much weight on a leg press machine, you might as well just go home. <laughs> like, you're just professional show-off. You can just show off at home. Because no one, no one here wants to watch you take 12 plates, put it on the leg press machine, move it 2-3 inches, and then re-rack it. No one wants to see that. Especially when I'm sitting here trying to do fucking deadlift, and I need the plates. Because you take them all, now I have to change my entire workout because you just want to be a hoarding asshole. 
So would you, when you s don't take the shitty ass advice, just because someone has personal trainer in front of their name doesn't mean they know exactly what they're talking about. Because sometimes they just want to make something up new, something brand new up, just so to kind of keep you interested. Like, oh, I've never done this workout before. Maybe it'll work. I was like, oh, we're changing up the routine for next week too. If you change the routine every single week, the, the trainer that you have is garbage. Because the, the purpose of a workout program is to see progression. Is to progress yourself. When you get on a workout program, when the workout changes literally every single week, then you're no longer on a program. You're just trying out new routines. Which is dumb. You might, you're just wasting your time. You're wasting your money. Get on a legitimate workout program and stop listening to bullshit personal trainers that you see on Instagram. Especially Instagram. Because all the only thing Instagram wants to do is get you to look, look at their video, get you to like it, get you to comment on it. That's the only reason people are on Instagram. If you want real workout advice, go to YouTube and look up and find a natural lifter on YouTube. <laughs> Because there are, are so many uh, non-natural lifters on all social media platform, platforms. So you have to be very careful of who you find and who you trust. Don't load up the leg press with all the weight in the gym. Like If, if you're going to load up that much weight and move it only a few inches, go home. Go home. Seriously, leave the gym. Put all your weights up. Leave the gym and don't come back until you've learned your fucking lesson. <laughs> because the only like one reason to go to the gym is to fatigue your muscles, is muscle breakdown. You want to destroy your muscles so then they can grow stronger. <laughs> but if you only move the weight a few inches, you're literally just inflating your ego, saying that, yeah, you can lift that much weight, even though you really can't. Okay? Just don't, just don't do it. Like when I did legs, I did squats first, and then I did calves, and then I hit hamstrings, and then I finally hit the leg press. I did squats, calf raises, Romanian deadlift, and then after all of that, after I was basically, basically completely fatigued, then I hit leg press. That's how you're supposed to do it. Compound movements at the at the start of your workout. You want to overload your muscles with as much weight as they can handle. And then you jump on machines to really hit them and hit them hard. And just fatigue the hell out of them. You want to overload them and then you want to fatigue them. That's how you're going to get muscle breakdown. That's how you're going to get stronger. So don't just... Don't, don't take bullshit advice. But make sure you're using full range of motion. Okay, I'm I'm done. I I'm <sighs> I gotta go to the store <laughs> and get some more food because I ate it all. So uh, yeah, if you want more lifting advice, let me know. If you have any questions at all, let me know. If you want to get on one of my routines, let me know. I I can send you all my shit. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Uh, bye. <laughs>